Hey Dodgers Twitter. All right, I'm back to all the way back to 2014. So I've done 2022 all the way back to 2014, and there was only one for 2020, which was duplicated in 2021, and that was the uh, Justin Turner um, bobblehead. Matter of fact, that one right there. That was the only one they handed out in 2020, which you actually had to order. So here we go. That's this year. And then I put the Dio, Dia de los Dodgers together with the Star Wars. Just trying to keep them together. 2019, really good year for bobbleheads. They handed out a ton that year. Back to 2014. I put Vin and Sandy together. That's Sandy's no-hitter bobblehead with the scoreboard. So I put them together. The Fun Run. Fun Run bobbleheads. Billie Jean King. And the Sandy Koufax statue. I cut off the pole. Looks a lot better. 2019 again. Split across two shells. So we got the uh, two playoff bellies. There's home. Home white version. And there's the gray version. Go get it out of the ocean. Alex Verdugo. Retro Clayton Kershaw bobble. Corey Seeger, Silver Slugger. Actually, there's his Silver Slugger bobble. That was not the Silver Slugger, Slugger bobble. JT Selfie. Adrian Gonzalez Selfie. That was the Selfie year. Jock Peterson. I've had two of those bobbleheads in both... Both of them, the head has come off, and I've had to reattach it. Manny Moda. A thinner Kenley. Your favorite Dodger ever. I know that's... Uh, Probably 95% of Dodger Nation's favorite Dodger in the history of the franchise. Rich Hill. Chase Utley. Clayton Kershaw. Matt Kemp hitting the ball. Let me come over here and see Matt Kemp. So there we go. Halfway done. Maybe a little bit more than halfway. I have to put um, 2001 all the way up to 2013 yet. But um, those years, they didn't have as many bobbleheads. So um, I have two more shelves to put together in the garage. So I will probably be needing those. Plus, we're going to get another dozen the rest of this year and who knows how many the following years to come so I'm not a big FOCO guy I, I like some of the FOCO 
um, bobbleheads, but I don't collect them. I just do the uh, stadium giveaways, the SGAs. I just like them. You got to pick your poison. Um, I can't have my whole house be filled with bobbleheads, I guess. I could, but uh, it's a lot of work to keep these things clean. When I was taking them out of the boxes, a lot of them were very, very dusty. They had been in the boxes for over mm, seven, eight years, some of them. So if you do a project like this, it's very handy to have some extra tools um, to clean the bobbleheads. There are the uh, baseball cases. I use the hockey puck cases uh, for a small riser. Uh, beware when you buy the hockey puck uh, cases. Usually they're not like the baseball cases where you're going to get two plastic halves. You're going to get one plastic half and a lid. And then the baseball um, holders, display cases, these plastic UV. I suggest getting the UV resistant cases because they won't yellow themselves. These cases can yellow. Not only do they protect the contents, but they won't yellow themselves. So with the baseball holders, you get two. So you can get two risers. Like that. You know? And then you can build a taller riser by stacking them. Or you can just put a hockey shelf, a hockey display, half a hockey display um, case like that. Or you can do it like that. So these were very, these came in very, uh, these were very useful to, to dust the bobbleheads that came out of the boxes that were very dusty. <laughs> it was very surprising how dusty they were. And uh, this I used for when I was putting the shelves together. So anyway, and this was just uh, a utility knife, box cutter, helps get the, some of the plastic off some of the uh, display cases, how they're packaged. So you can see how I have them stacked and then uh, a few places I really wanted to get uh, a bobblehead up high I used two baseball display cases it's hard to see because they're, they're clear but um, you can use combination of hockey puck display case uh, with the baseball display cases and you can get varying heights so um, that's how I got the rows on different heights and these shelves are from Ikea. They're Detolf. They're about 80 bucks a piece. Uh, if you go pick them up, of course, uh, if you get them shipped, they're a little bit more, but uh, not too bad. Plenty of videos out there on how to put them together. A uh, lot of people have done YouTube videos on how to add lighting to them too. I haven't done that yet. I don't know if I'm going to. Um, my wife says she kind of just likes it like this. But what I might do is I might put some kind of background on the wall uh, behind it. Um, they sell some Dodger cloth and material. Maybe uh, come up with some other idea. It's kind of late to pull them out and paint. Uh, you kind of have to think of those things before you do this because once you get the bobbleheads in here, you really can't move these shelves. Now, they do sell something called museum wax and it's down here I haven't used it but uh, if you're concerned about your stuff falling over they make this stuff called museum wax uh, I got this at Home Depot and what you do is you read the directions basically but ba in a nutshell you just take some of this wax you ball it up in your hands warm it up and flatten it and then stick it to the bottom of your figurine or your bobblehead and then stick it to wherever you want it to stay without um, tipping over very easily. The problem is, uh, if you use glass cases, you'll probably see underneath, you'll probably see that little uh, piece of wax that you're using. It might not be aesthetically pleasing. But anyway, that's my Dodger bobblehead display uh, halfway done. Um, hope you enjoyed watching it. And I will do another video when this thing is complete. So until then, let's go Dodgers.